let us discuss this problem so so let us copy this one i have two compound i and j these two both have molecular formula c17 h14 or c7 h14 c7 h14 so i and j both have the same molecular formula c7 h14 now both compound are optically active the second thing that is given to you both are optically active and another thing that is also given they both rotate the plane polarized in the same direction so the given is they both rotate the plane polarized in the same direction both are optically active and both rotate the plane polarized in the same direction this means if one rotating plus side other is also rotating plus side this means one is dextro rotator tree another is also dextro rotator tree so this means one thing is clear these two i and j are not in ansiomer if they have in ansiomer they must have a opposite rotation so if they are rotation are same direction so i am 100% sure i and j are not basically in ansiomer i and j this is i and j are not in ansiomer one thing is 100% sure So they are not in ansiomer. Are you getting? So I and J are not in ansiomer basically. If they will be in ansiomer, in that case, uh, they have to have opposite rotate rotation. Now the second thing that is given, I and J both react with one mole of hydrogen. That is hydrogenation. If I do both on catalytic hydrogenation gives a compound C7H16. This is again optically active. C7H16 is op optically active. So if I add one mole of hydrogen, to add one mole of hydrogen, both give the same compound. C17H16. So what is the structure of I and J? If I hydrogenate I, I get this. Even if I hydrogenate J, I get K. So in both cases, hydrogenation leads to the compound K. So what is the uh, what is the uh, structure of I and J is possible? You see. Uh, if they go catalytic hydrogenation, this suggests me both must have a double bond. I will give you a hint. First, find out the unsaturation factor, and then find out a compound that is optically active and it can also contains a double bond. You will get the answer. So let us take one minute. Okay, so another possibility is I and J may be cis and trans because both had one mole of hydrogen. Okay, let us go with the solution part. So if you see what is the unsaturation factor, you have 14 hydrogen. You expect for C1, you will have 7 into 2 plus 2, that is 16 hydrogen minus 14 divided. So unsaturation factor for this compound is 1. So I and J both contains one double bond because it cannot contain ring because this adds one mole of hydrogen. If it adds one mole of hydrogen, this 100% sure this contains double bond. So now there is a possibility I, I and J both are cis trans isomer. If I have something like that, then I can satisfy all the given information. So let us say if I is trans isomer and J is cis isomer, I have a 7 carbon. So let us, I need one carbon that is optically active. So let us put this side hydrogen, this side CS3. This side CH2, CH3. Now 1, 2, 3, 4 hydrogen is engaged. Now I have 3 more hydrogen. 3, sorry, 3, uh, 4, 4 carbon is engaged. I have 3 carbon more. So 1, 2, 3 carbon. Now let us put a double bond here. Now this compound is trans, you can say. These two groups are basically opposite to each other. So trans. In this case, these two hydrogen are same side. So I can call this as a cis. So if I take I is a trans isomer and J is basically cis isomer of the same compound. So this is your cis isomer. Are you getting? Now this both are optically active, both will show optical rotation. 
and both will rotate the same direction because you see uh, this is due to the so I am not changing the uh, orientation so this side rows and the, all are in the same direction I am only changing the group this side I have a group this one and another case I have group this one so only changing the position one side this is uh, this side another may this side so both will have same rotation both will have positive rotation now let us see then if I do hydrogenation of these two compound you will get something like this if you have written this one if I hydrogenate this one now things are very simple I have to put only hydrogen hydrogen in this place hydrogen ion hydrogen so this is K K is a still optically active CH3 CH2 CH3 hydrogen this side we have a different group this side different group this side different group so K is a still optically active are you getting so let us copy this one For this question, other answers are also possible. So you can think some other compound also. We have given one compound. You can change something like this so that you can have uh, all the information that satisfies. So maybe other answers are also possible. I think all of you have copied this one. Let us go for the next problem.